National Signing Day 2017 is almost here, just a few short months away or less. Drew Champlin joining me now, recruiting analyst. And let's start with Alabama first. Who are you taking as Alabama's three top targets? Well, Alabama has 25 commitments right now, so the pickings are getting a little slim. But I think three guys they need to finish with in some sort of way. LeBron Ray, the defensive end out of James Clemens. Henry Ruggs the third, the electric receiver out of Lee Montgomery. And then Drez Parks, a uh, defensive end, Jack Linebacker out of Sebastian, Florida. Okay, and you talk about LeBron Ray, defensive end, number one player in the state right now here in the state of Alabama. Why is he Alabama's big target, and how can he have an impact for the team? You know Alabama needs some more defensive linemen in this class, especially off the edge. And LeBron Ray is just a big, powerful defensive end with a great you know, first step, pass rush. Uh, the three games I saw him this year, he was virtually unblockable. So, uh, you know, you got to keep your state's top prospect at home like Alabama was able to do with Ben Davis last year. And it's going to be tough. You know, schools like Tennessee, Ole Miss, Florida, Mississippi State are in the mix. But uh, I like Alabama's chances for now, but we'll see what, what happens. Okay, and we take Henry Ruggs the third here, wide receiver. His stock, though, has risen, as you told me, was once a basketball player, and then his stock in football has risen really in the last year or two. Yeah, he still plays basketball, obviously, but uh, he's a football prospect. He started playing varsity football as a junior. I think he got his first offer about two games into the season, and now here's a guy he just blew up this year, had about 800, 900 receiving yards, the same, same amount of rushing yards, a kickoff return for a touchdown in the Alabama-Mississippi game. So. Uh, Alabama, Florida, Florida State are probably the three schools that are in the mix, but Alabama highly prioritizes him as a slot receiver. And finally, Drez Parks, big guy, big stats, big numbers, and of course a big defensive end out of Florida. How much of an impact can he have on this Alabama recruiting class if he decides to commit to the Crimson Tide? Yeah, just another excellent pass rusher off the edge, and you can never have too many of those, and that's what Alabama's trying to get. Uh, and I think the fact that, you know, why I listed him here is because they feel like they have such a great chance with him. Obviously, Florida and Florida State are going to be key teams that they're battling, but uh, I think this is another talented, you know, South Florida out-of-state guy that, uh, that they have a chance to get. All right, thank you so much, Drew. Of course, for all your recruiting updates, you can visit us on AL.com.